Hello Dicers! Welcome back to Dice Decides and welcome to another Feel Good Friday. So in this one, we're gonna talk about the law of attraction. And I got a comment about that last video, so I thought I would explain what it is. So, on the most fundamental level, it is just being attracted, things being attracted depending on what kind of thoughts you have. So if you have a lot of positive thoughts, if that's what you're focusing on, because we have both positive and negative thoughts. But if your focus is on the positive thoughts, you're going to attract positive experiences into your life and vice versa. If you focus too much on negative thoughts, if that's what you're focusing on all the time, that's the kind of experiences you're going to attract in your life. Negative experiences. So that is the law of attraction. But it doesn't help to want something. The law of attraction is never what you want. It's what you are that makes a difference. Because you can want something as much as you can possibly think of. Like You can be like, Oh, I really want to do 20 push-ups. If you think about that every day, even for a whole year, you're not gonna do 20 push-ups. <laughs> you're gonna have to actually do them and be what you want to attract. So you gotta be doing the push-ups. That makes sense. And so, if you want to attract positive experiences into your life, you have to focus on positive thoughts. Thoughts like, I can do this. I can achieve my goals. I can create amazing, thing, amazing things instead of focusing on the negative aspects like oh I'm not good enough, oh this will not work out, oh I will never be able to achieve things like that's the negative things you could focus on and that's what will bring negative experiences into your life because that's what you focus on because whatever you focus on grows and so the law of attraction is quite wonderful in that sense because all you have to do is just focus on the positivity and just become positive, become positivity. Because it's not enough to want, you gotta be. Just being positive and attract positivity with the law of attraction. It's quite wonderful, uh, this law that's been discovered in like ancient Greek times and expanded upon by Plato. So it's, it's really ancient stuff, but it really works. And it doesn't take a lot to see that it works. Because even when you're alone, you notice that it works because if you the more you focus on positive thoughts, the easier it becomes to just stick to focusing on the positive thoughts, if that makes sense. Like, whenever you get a negative thought, like, you don't necessarily have to ignore it, but you don't need to focus on it. You just don't. 
And so, that is basically what the law of attraction is. Attracting whatever you are. <laughs> what am I? <laughs> I'm Dice Decides. Where's my second Dice Decides? <laughs> no, it's not that literal. <laughs> but, it does, it does work. You're attracting, attracting wonderful things. I've attracted this tree. It's quite wonderful. Oh, it's it's kind of dead now because it's winter. Everything is dead. Well, it's not dead. It's all just sleeping. Sleepy snooze. Trees gotta sleep too, you know. <laughs> oh yes. Oh yes. Such a wonderful stick. Oh, look at that little acorn. So yeah, guys, you don't have to focus a lot on the law of attraction to attract good things. It's all about just remembering it and it can be like relieving to know that it's a thing. It's like you don't have to worry much. You just have to be... Um, just like more positive and just notice the positive thoughts you have and appreciate them and nourish them and actually believing in them, you know. Because a lot of people can be like, oh, maybe I could do this. Maybe I could do it. But then for some reason they're like, Nah, nah, what am I thinking? You know what I mean? And there's a shift that could happen. You could shift it to be like, you know what? I think I'm right. <laughs> I'm not gonna shut this thought down and actually embrace it because it is a positive thought. The law of attraction. It's quite cool, it really is. And so, we always attract what we are, not what we want. Never attract what we want, always attract what we are. And that's important to remember, that it's not enough to just want things. I want an apple right now. <laughs> an apple is not gonna magically appear. I would have to become an apple. Wait, what? <laughs> no. I would have to actually. I would have to actually go and find an apple, find an apple tree, <laughs> or something, or just go to a store, <laughs> get an apple. Why am I talking about apples? It was just an example. Cheese. <laughs> Ah, it's a wonderful time in the forest. Feel good Friday, guys. Feel good Friday. It happened pretty quick. It was like, this week went by so fast. It's Friday again. It's Friday. And we are attracting all the goodness on this Feel Good Friday. All of the goodness. With the law of attraction. It's a law. You can choose to break the law. If you lived in a different universe, I don't, you, you can't really break universal laws. <laughs> There's no way to, of breaking this law. <laughs> you either focus on negative thoughts or positive thoughts. Whichever you focus on grows and becomes your dominant experiences. And that is the law of attraction, guys. So, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it helped. I really do, because it's something you can actually put into practice and just see for yourself. Um, so yeah. Remember to gently tap on that like button and ring that bell so you don't miss an upload. And thanks for watching, Dicers. Hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. 
and I will see you next time.